Well, global economic growth in a world of geopolitical recession is going to be low, and the quality of the growth is going to be lower. I mean, China is responsible for 38 percent of the world's growth. It's going to become the world's largest economy. When emerging markets are responsible for more of the world's growth, clearly that means the volatility around that growth is higher, and that, that is a more risky environment where high net worth individuals are going to be paying attention more to the safety of their capital as opposed to the, uh, the, uh, the size of their returns. Um, there's also the more direct question that as inequality grows, um, walls are going up, and um, you know people in positions of great wealth and power increasingly are being targeted. They're being targeted in terms of their private information being made public. Um, you know, Ashley Madison was not something that was, you know, that wasn't for the global middle class. That was for wealthy people, and they were targeted. Panama Papers was not for the global middle class. It was the wealthy people. They were targeted. Um, you know, I think, you know, dangers of kidnapping are going to go up. Um, uh, blame and responsibility. Uh, when the social contract is falling apart for large numbers of people that do not feel like they have meaningful employment, that problem is going to get much bigger in the coming decade. They are going to look for people to villainize and to blame. Um, and the, the principal benef beneficiaries of globalization and connectivity will be a very convenient target. I think in that regard, the biggest concern that ultra high net worth individuals will have is less about their capital and it's more about them as individuals. It's about their personal safety. It's about how they want to live their lives. Their ability to interact with the world as a whole or to live behind very cloistered, walled off sections of society. And also how they feel as human beings about themselves, their consciousness. What, what kind of a future do they want to leave for their children? What kind of society do they want to live in? I think they need to think more about that, frankly. That should be the principal concern that they have.